What is it? Is there a problem? No. Why should there be a problem? Because everyone who talks to me comes with a sack full of problems. And I solve problems. Those who control magic have nothing to fear. You seem confident. You bet. Just look what the mages have done here on Tyrannus. We don't care if the gods have abandoned the world. We don't need them anymore. The more crystals our minds produce, the greater our power. Tell me something about the crystals and the mines. I have no idea why the crystals are so powerful. But I do know they burn a nice hole in our enemies. And that's precisely why it's so important to mine them. Right. How many crystals have you got with you? Me? Oh, it's not worth mentioning. A handful, and that's it. This stuff is needed elsewhere more urgently. Then you certainly won't mind handing over a few. Hmm. But not all of them. Here. How about a round of knife throwing? Sure thing. But I don't compete against any buffoon. I'll enter into a knife duel with you just as soon as you bring the necessary gold. But remember, I don't have time for these games when I'm not by the wheel. The bigger the opponent, the greater the glory! <laughs> Nicely done. The beast is dead. Watch out! Yourself. All right. Hey, wait! 
Aren't you? Ah, forget it. Out with it. You're the guy they are all talking about around here, aren't you? Are they? Yes. They say you have what it takes. So you know all about the gnomes, don't you? You're in charge of the gnomes. Ah, if only it was just the gnomes. There's also my wife, Paula. She keeps annoying me with unimportant things. Clean the house. Do something about the vermin. There are rats everywhere. Don't dirty the floor. Take off your shoes. I understand. As if I didn't have enough problems of my own. Women. Precisely. Gnomes sure do keep you on your toes. Yeah, they all look the same. I still have to find three of them. I got a list from Magnus. I don't have time for those little shits. What's it like working for the mages? They really know how to get things done. My wife and I made a point of moving to Tyrannus. We're doing well here. At least, we've got our own peace and quiet. But if the mages turn that reactor on, we'll be scared stiff. Tell me more about the reactor. I think it's worrying. Sure, the mages know what they're doing, but between you and me, if that thing blows up, we've had it. Do you have a reason for your concern? Well, even mages are human, and humans make mistakes. One mistake in their calculations and boom! I'll take care of the gnomes. You would try to find it for me? Yeah. Good. Here's Magnus's list. It's about the gnomes Dakil, Faris, and Gadi. I've scribbled a few notes on it. About the gnomes. I found Dakil. He's here, in the mine. Good to know. Here's your reward. I found Faris. He's in the good mine. Excellent. Here's your reward. I found Gaddy. He's working for the warehouse master, Rummel, down at the harbor. I'm glad to hear that. I have nothing else to say. I've reported all gnomes to you. Excellent. Then I can file that list. Take this. You really earned it. You needn't worry any more about the Shadow Lord in the West. Why? Has he withdrawn? No. He's been taken care of. Are you telling me you had something to do with it? I had something to do with him. Hmm. Impressive. One less problem on a list that is unfortunately still too long. Regardless, that's some achievement. Here. Whoever serves our cause shall not come away empty-handed. Go away! Wiry physique, distinctive facial features, interesting. Sorry, not interested. What? No, I didn't mean it like that. Allow me to introduce myself, Ilva, paranormalist and precision engineer. It's in the nature of my profession that I always examine my surroundings very closely. What on earth is a paranormalist? An inquisitive student, most excellent. My area of research is other worlds that are invisible to the human eye. I combine the results of my research with my artisan skills to manufacture various oculars. When you look through one of my oculars, your vision will increase by 500%.
So what can your oculars make visible? In layman's terms, they grant you a differentiated look into the astral sphere, depending on the prism you use. The knack here is to catch the particular wave band to give you the required result. In layman's terms, right. Please excuse me, the frequent disputes with my brothers here mean I sometimes find it difficult to use a more polite manner of speech. Don't worry about it. Could you sell me an ocular? Oculars, no. But the prisms you need for them, yes. Only if you join our covenant. Discuss it with General Magnus. Dispute? I thought you mages stick together. If only you knew. For instance, take this old codger Nurgle. He sits in his cellar all day looking after his plants. But the crystals are the reason we are here on Tyrannus at all. Can you teach me something? We'll see. Teach me how to improve my focus of astral vision. Alrighty then. Teach me how to improve my focus of astral vision. Okay. Teach me how to improve my focus of... All right. What smells so good? Who? who? What? Matricaria Resutita. Matrica... Matri what? Good God. Chamomile, cretin. So, you're the alchemist. A little louder, please. I'm a bit hard of hearing. I asked if you're the alchemist. Of course I am. I mean crystals. Pff, the real magic is in plants. What are you working on right now? You should know that we have multiple climate zones here on Tyrannus. And? Don't interrupt. As I was saying, due to the climatic conditions, a special herb grows here that I've named the Tyrannus Herb. Just imagining what powers could lie hidden in this herb makes my heart flutter. However, they are scarce. If only I had five specimens, I could continue with my studies. Why don't you send someone to get you the herbs? I did, but those damn gnomes keep bringing me the wrong herbs. Just recently, one of them brought me a common Coluna vulgaris. I ask you, what am I supposed to do with a Coluna vulgaris? Ah. Watch your blood pressure. Where does the Tyrannus herb grow? Look around in the center of the island. There is a river fed by a waterfall. You should be able to find it there. Let nature be your signpost. I'll get your Tyrannus herb for you. Excellent. Make sure you don't use too much force pulling it out of the soil. You'll receive one of my elixirs as a token of my gratitude. Here is your Tyrannus herb. Two sugars, please. Your Tyrannus herb. Here. Uh, ah, yes. Excellent. Here. You certainly have earned your banana. Now don't disturb me. I need peace and quiet so I can concentrate. Me takatini planter, grana planter. What are you doing? Pronto planter, maro planter, wico planter. All right, let's drop the subject. Me pivimata nergo.
No, no, and no. What? The blue plants, not the green. Me sada! Gnu harpo harpo! Oh, you useless dwarf. Go and stand in the corner. A banana? You were going to give me the elixir. No, no, no. You asked for a banana, I'm sure. You've overstepped the mark. Give me the elixir now. Youth. No respect for your elders, have you? Here. Now let me work in peace. Are you interested in some dark mushrooms? Dark mushrooms? What are they doing in your pockets? I explicitly forbade you to trade them. Don't you realize that eating them can cause irreparable damage to the cerebrum? What kind of damage? Increasing speech disorder, to name just one. Impaired perception is another demonstrable result. Once the decay spreads to the brainstem, well, then that's the end of your digestion, my friend. Yeah. I'll be fine without them. Good. I know where to hide them from prying eyes. Take this gold as a small compensation. Doesn't it get boring down here? B boring Au contraire. The great art of alchemy is never boring. The study of magical ingredients requires time, and don't you forget it. All right, I understand. Can you teach me anything? What? Show me your stuff. That's fine by me. Necessary. Where's... What? Oh, are you new here? Um, it's me, Horace. Don't you recognize me, Master Erasmus? I'm not talking to you, Horace. Don't you have anything to do? I... You should stop interrupting me. I have something important to discuss with our new arrival here. Could you assist me, soldier? Or... Uh... Wait a moment, um, what was I saying? Greetings, honorable mage. Yes, yes, lovely. What was I doing just now? Mm. Oh, yes. How can I help you, young man? So that was the important thing you needed to discuss. What are you talking about, Horace? Go sweep the chamber or get back to whatever you were doing. You seem a little confused. Yes, yes, that's true. I'm about to make a breakthrough in my small experiment, but I'm still missing something important. Uh, I just keep getting carried away there. What did you say you want? Where is your experiment? The experiment is nowhere. 
just in my head. It's a... well, what? No idea. A thought experiment. <laughs> right. Yes. You see, I'm trying to determine the amount of energy that our monolith network needs for the reactor. Reactor? What's that? Oh. Do you want to see the reactor? It's my greatest creation to date. Really? Follow me. I'll show you what we have achieved. This building and the one on the far side of the canyon form a circular focal point. We call it a reactor or a magical ring. The flows of magical energy converge beneath the bridge between the two buildings. Once the reactor starts running, it disrupts the equilibrium of the elements. The Titans don't like that at all, and they will give Tyrannus a wide berth in order to avoid the flow of energy. Fascinating, isn't it? Impressive construction. Indeed. However, we only managed to start up the reactor once, and that was only briefly. We quickly realized that we couldn't keep up the flow of energy for long. We simply need more magical power in order to keep the reactor operational. We need to reinforce the network with suitably large monolith stones. Right. Sounds complicated. The lightning monoliths erected on Tyrannus accumulate the island's magical energy. They stand in a most favorable constellation for the energy flux. All we have to do is divert it to the crystals in our reactor. Easy. I see. What are you waiting for? The monolith stones haven't reached their destination yet. I've been waiting for days to hear news that the stones have been installed. You mean, the stones need to be inserted into the lightning monoliths? Oh. You have been paying attention. Yes, exactly. About the monolith. How many monolith stones do we need? Three stones for three lightning monoliths. We've got two of them here on the island. Our old friend Ifuego got one of them from us. A gnome named Kasim. But the little chap should have been back ages ago. I think I can help you with the lightning monoliths. Really? How? It can't be that hard to stick some stones in some monoliths. That's true in theory. But the problem is, even if we have all the stones... What then? The monoliths are very far away, and they're surrounded by wild animals. Make sure you're well equipped if you head out there. Thanks for the advice. You trusted a gnome with something as important as that? Hmm. Why not? They work alongside with us. All right. Once again, for the deaf. Have you placed several shiny stones into the hands of a gnome? Um... Yes? And now you expect him to willingly deliver them? Yes. I think you should leave matters to someone else. But how? How are we supposed to find Kasim again? I know where Kasim the gnome is. I spoke with him. What? He's around the camp somewhere. Really? Oh. I can't tell those little guys apart. He was supposed to bring the stones. Kasim claims that he doesn't have the stones anymore. Ah, that lying little bastard. Bah, why should I get all worked up about this? He's just a gnome. And because he's a gnome, he's hidden his treasure somewhere. All you have to do is tell him that someone's found his treasure. You'll see how quickly he takes off to check if it's true. He's not that stupid. But I could follow him. If you do, make sure you're not discovered. It's not easy. We'll see. 
What was a mage doing with someone like Governor Di Fuego? We were once... how should I put it? Let's just say we were business partners. It was a long time ago, you must understand. What happened? Well, he supported our research. And in return, we supplied him all the crystals and minerals that we couldn't use from the mines around Caldera. It went well for quite some time, until the day that all the mages were banned from Caldera. We had just enough time to save our skins. In the end, we were able to save two monolith stones from the chaos. The third one remained on Caldera. I think the Inquisition soldiers gave it to De Fuego. About the monolith. I brought Horus from Takarigura along with me. I was worried that he might never return. And the stone? We have the monolith stone. Wonderful. The stone will do its job as soon as it's inserted correctly into a monolith. That's wonderful news. I knew Di Fuego still had the stone. How is old Governor Di Fuego anyway? He's dead. Oh. That's... um... Uh... Where were we? Who is the most powerful mage among you? The Honorable Mage, Zacharias. Right. And where is he? He is with his research subject behind the reactor, on the other side of the Great Canyon in the Northeast. How do I get to meet Zacharias? He's deeply engrossed in his research. He's most interested in the reactor. He needs its magical energy for his research project. As long as the reactor isn't working again, I fear that he's not going to see anyone. I see. The mage, Erasmus, needs the monolith stones for his reactor. I see no stones! You're lying. You've definitely hidden them somewhere. Gaga, homie! No make high! Kasim honest canoe! Fine. I'll get the stones on my own. Huh? Why? You not know where stones. You think? I just saw a few gnomes playing with your monolith stones. Oh, no. Um, I mean, don't interest me. Yeah, I bet. Homie, now go. Kasim has things to do. Good. Let's see if the little shit has taken the bait yet. No, I just have to follow him when he leaves. And make sure he doesn't see me. Is that even him? They all look exactly alike. Mmm, you slower. You slower me looking! You can stop sneaking about, I see you. You can stop sneaking, I saw you. Don't you dare steal on it.
Homie not follow Kasim. Kasim going back home now. No. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Ah, I've caught you. So this is where you're hiding. Ah, crapper. Homie plan the chest if homie like. Only no basha Kasim. I'll quickly nipple home too. Yip. Mmm, you slower. No more blah blah. Homie, leave me alone. I won't leave you. This is the place, the beginning of the end. This is where we will herald a new age. What are you talking about? What? Oh, nothing. I'm just awed every time I see this structure. You don't want to carry on like that, do you? What do you mean? The sweet-natured act. The charitable crap you're putting on here. Stop that! 
Nobody believes it. I don't believe it anyway. Good thing that I can't smell anything anymore. I bet it stinks of fish in here. Hey, Mendoza. Didn't you say you wouldn't come aboard until I've got a big ship? Well, my curiosity got the better of me. It might take forever before you get a big ship. I want to be there when they kill you. Are you able to help me? Or are you just all talk? Why should I help you? Because if you don't, I'll throw your soul shard into the sea. Hmm, all right. You make a persuasive argument. If you want me to come with you, you know where to find me. Do you recognize this? Is it soul dust? Yes, but it's useless for humans. For us spirits, on the other hand... So, you'll buy it from me? Hmm. Why not? If you bring me five at a time, I can give you some gold in exchange. But you do know that you can also use it to purify a soul, don't you? You use dust to purify souls? Yes. It makes them more human. But I won't be showing you how. You'll have to find another sucker to do that. I've lost my spirit. Oh, how tragic. And I should be interested why? You are a spirit. Help me to find mine again. <sighs> it's not as simple as that. You are just an empty sack of flesh and your spirit is far away on the other side. It wanders aimlessly and does not find peace. Such is our lot in the underworld. Help me speak to him. I sure as hell won't. As far as I am concerned, I like your situation as it is. It is only a question of time until somebody will eliminate the rest of you. And I hope to witness it. You will obey me, or I will destroy your soul shard. <sighs> My destruction will not change your status at all. No, but it won't do me any harm either. Come to think about it, I'd probably be better off without you. <sighs> I think I'll smash your soul shard right here, right now. You stinking fool! Fine, fine. As you wish. I may have something that could help you. Smart decision. Looks like we might become best friends after all. My friend the meat bag. What do you have to offer? Your body is already half dead. But you're still no minion of the underworld. This means there is still a weak bond between you and your spirit. In order to strengthen it, your body must come to rest. Then, there is a chance of establishing contact. Dreams. You speak of dreams. Yes, damn it. What did you think I was talking about? Just go to sleep, you moron. You'll soon see what I mean. You will see through the eyes of your spirit. And what it experiences, so shall you. However, the link is weak and fleeting. I can help you strengthen it, give you more control over your spirit. Can I reclaim my spirit through a dream? If spirits knew how to get back to the land of the living, do you honestly believe we'd stay spirits? I haven't got the slightest idea, and I am sick of being asked. Fine. How do I control ghosts in the Underworld? If you wish to speak to a spirit, you will need a personal item of the deceased. Some possessions of the deceased are irresistible to their ghosts. This way, you may contact them in your dreams. 
But be careful. Not every ghost you attract in this manner will be friendly. You need to know exactly what you're doing, or it might end badly. I found some spirit bait. Really? Let me see. I found Ursagor's flaming eye. Uh, now don't forget, Ursagor is a titan lord. If you challenge him, it could mean the end. Why do you tell me that? Isn't that what you want? Yes, you're right. Forget what I just said. I want to contact a spirit. Which one? Captain Gregorius Emmanuel Steelbeard. My father. Oh, how touching. I may shed a tear. As you wish. Do you have anything that belonged to him? He was at sea most of the time. I didn't see him much. There wasn't enough time for personal matters. Oh, my heart bleeds. All right, let me think. A gnome called Jafar on Tyrannus claims to have possession of old Steelbeard's hat. It would be interesting to learn if the little rat is telling the truth, wouldn't it? Hmm. again. You live up to your reputation, drifting soul. I have summoned you, and now I order you to help me. Well, arrogant, aren't we? I have no choice. I need something that will help me fight against the shadows. Ah, the shadows. It doesn't sound like they're your best friends. Do you really think you can win the battle against them? Not on my own. I need strong allies. Hmm. Perhaps I could be of some assistance. Listen carefully. I'll send one of my servants to the north of the town on Antigua. He will transfer some of his power to you. But only if you can defeat him. Is that your idea of help? You send me into battle against one of your creatures? If you cannot defeat my servant, then what hope have you against the shadows? Go now. I've given you enough. May great deeds. Follow your grand words. Hey, wait a moment. 